Yesterday I gave a lesson to Myth, he's the 6th largest channel on Twitch with over 7 million followers, plays a lot of different games, and is signed to TSM just like Hikaru. It was the first chess lesson he had apparently ever taken. So I've split this video up into chunks where we look at the opening with white and with black, and then molding a beginner thought process. Hope you enjoy. Hold up. I'm holding. Oh, what if I, what if I did... What if I did, uh, oh, I guess, no, then you're like trading pawns, so I guess it's just best to, yeah, like, just get the bishop out here, right? Were you gonna say this? Yeah, I was gonna say that, and then I, that can't be taken by the pawn because I have, um, my knight on it. As well, well. It, it, it's not that it can't be taken, actually, this is just a, this is just a legitimately well, yeah, just good says, move. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, if you want to do that, sure, do trade it. pawns, right? I'll take, yeah. It's good that you, you spawned that, you were like, so go ahead, knight takes. Um... Now, I'm going to go here. So, I want to hear your thoughts when you see this move. Just, what are you thinking? Mm, right off the bat, I'm thinking that my knight is being threatened. Good. So, I want to get him out of danger. Okay, very easy, right? Uh, yeah. pick, a, pick a safe square. Actually, you have... Five? Five safe squares. Two bad ones. These are the two bad ones. <laughs> because you can... Yeah. But see, you're, you're laughing, but it's good because, like, you yeah, know, yeah. you already kind of see, like, the peace interactions. But, okay, so where, where, where is mm. good for you to go with the knight? Mm. Perfect. Perfect. If you go here, this was, this was going to be my, my next question. Mm -hmm. If you go there, what does your knight see? Like, what, what does it have in its sights? Um, he, sees, he sees the pawn on e6. Mm -hmm. He sees the pawn h7. Perfect. And then... He doesn't see anything else, right? No, I mean, you could say, okay, okay. there's an empty square, but he we're not going lot, Yeah. Who sees the knight for black? Who sees the knight for black? Yeah, one of the, black's uh, pieces. The queen. Yes. Is this a free knight? That is not a free knight. Very good. You say you, 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 don't, you don't play chess and you're just picking up on the diagonals that fast? I'm excited. Very good. Yes. People oftentimes have blind spots for bishops. So, of course, queen takes would be very bad. Is this free? Yeah. Are you threatening to take this or no? Am I threatening to take? What does that mean? Like terminology wise, threatening to take this. So so when you're when you're threatening to make a move, it's you you're you've played a move and you want to play this good move on the next oh. turn. So oh. but, oftentimes okay. that means like a piece is not guarded, you want to take it on the next turn. So are you threatening to mm. take the pawn? Or no. is it no? Yeah, because ah, it's protected. Very good. So you played knight g3. I don't want to overwrite your moves, but this is how mm -hmm. this is how the thought process goes. So by the way, early on, pushing so many pawns in front of the king when it's mm -hmm. in the middle, not good. Not good, because the king has a lot of open space in front of it, and it could be weakened. Right? It could just be... Okay. You, you want to get the other pieces so, out. So, oh, okay, the other pieces. Like the ones off on the side? Knights, bishops. Mean, oh, knights and knights and bishops. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yes. To cover up that like empty space, so you can't just be you know cucked. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yes. Uh, I I I was a scholastic teacher for a long time, so I wasn't using quite you know uh, <laughs> such terminology, but uh, yes, yes, exactly. Um, Roger. So if like I'm gonna go here. Hmm. So I'm checking you. Yeah. So I just gotta move out of check. How right. would you do that? Yeah. Mm, I'll just move my king forward. Or, so I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad I brought this up. When you're in check, you don't oh, no, no, have... No. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. I move my pawn to uh, c3. Yes. Right, yeah. I move my, my c2 pawn to c3. Yes. Beautiful. And it's protected, right? Yeah. Yes. So moves like this... Uh, and generally, like, random checks is what I call them. Like, just because you see a check doesn't mean you have mm -hmm. to play it. it. You don't, yeah. right? Like, it's... But um, 
this is kind of the reason why, because now black just has to move the bishop. So let's say go here. Okay, what's a, a, a good move here for white? Just again, it's early in the game. You don't need to think too much. You know, you have to get your pieces out. Who has not moved yet? Mm, my bishops. Your bishops, your other knight. Yeah, my so other knight can... as well. Have him mobilize them. So you can choose. It's not really too Obviously. important, but yeah. which one goes first? Um, let's get the bishop out. Okay. I want to move him to... I kind of move him to e3 way, actually. Yeah, I want to move him to e3. Okay. It, you have my blessing. That's a good move. Both of these are good. This was not good, because then you would get taken. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to playing, like, not totally terrible, so I'm getting my knight out. Mm hmm. Now, you can castle both ways, so you're actually closer in this position to castling queenside or castling long, and mm -hmm. you would just need to move your queen. You don't always have to castle short, uh... And again, I, it's much more standard, it's more classical to just castle to the short side. But you are more than welcome also to go in the other direction. I'm kind of leaving it, you know, to you to kind of feel out what you prefer. So you can go that way, or you can develop your other pieces, your other knight and bishop, and then castle short. I have a feeling that I, I want to castle short. So I would have to move my pieces out of here, right? Yes. Exactly. Okay. So, like, let me think here. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Perfect. Great. Same, same thing can, can kind of be said for the bishop on that square. There, I mean, it's a little bit more. Yeah. It's called active. It's just a little more active. <laughs> you, I already, I like that you're not just like, all right, I'm going to go destroy them in the first, like, 10 moves. Because you, you honestly can't. Like, chess is just not... There are some ways that you can win in four moves, and I will show you, like, the Scholar's Mate, but it, sadly, it, cheesing people will not work uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go here. So this is not a threat, because you're protecting it three times. So just <laughs> finish your development and get short-castled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just got to move your knight. And honestly... In general, moving your G1 knight would be better to F3. It's kind of like the F3? gold gold standard. Yeah, knight to F3 yeah. is the gold standard. So move. Is, it, is, it, is it better like hug your knight against like the wall? It's it's not that it's, it has like less yeah, movement. That's exactly right. So it's exactly what you said. It's you're like, gonna it's like give and take, right? Yes. Yes. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Yes. Um, yeah. Because think about it. If your if your knight moves to the side, it'll still need an extra turn later. To get into the game so you might as yeah. well just, just at least have it game. perfect so i'm gonna castle how do i castle so you, you just you could drag you your just king slide it over here yeah you have to you have to start with the king and you have to kind of drag it over the rook or you can drag it two squares because it has to go to g1 so two squares okay. would be perfect and Got if it. it was the other way it would it would also be two squares so it would be to mm -hmm. C1. It would be like this. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Noted. What, what is this? Move 10 per player. Um, so I'm going to go bishop here. Now, once you get past the opening, this is the hardest part of the game because mm -hmm. you might learn king and queen versus king checkmate. The problem is there's like a, a hundred pieces on the board. So how do you go from uh, the start to the finish? Uh, something called tactics. Have you heard that word before? Yes. Have you done I've any done tactics? Tactics in Fortnite. Ah, okay. I so built plenty of walls with different tactics. Well, I, I mean, okay. Like to make a to make a game comparison in uh, in chess, we don't have like keystrokes and preferences of like what square is what, but we have. Mm -hmm. It's just all patterns. Honestly, the game has very little to do with intelligence. It's just how many times you repeat something and practice it. So. Um, not to insult my, my fellow chess streamers, but so in this position, as we look around, what do your pieces see is how I want you to think about this. Like what physical pieces do your pieces 
C. Yeah. So my my uh okay. My my knight sees. How do you do the red things? Oh, the the arrows. Uh, right click drag. Yeah. Right click drag. Right click drag. Mm -hmm. So this sees this. This sees this. Um. That doesn't see anything. That doesn't see anything. Wait, that's all it has vision right now. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're 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 absolutely correct. So, in this position, we already have a lot of possibilities for you to start making your pieces work together. Uh, the mm -hmm. first kind of tactic that I want to show you is called a pin. Uh, a pin <sighs> is when one of your pieces has sights on an enemy piece, and then on the same line that that piece is kind of standing on, there is a stronger piece behind it. So I'm talking mm -hmm. specifically about this bishop. Who's on the same diagonal? The king. Mm -hmm. Which means this pawn cannot move. Yeah. Because that would be illegal. If this was a queen, it could move, because they would just lose the queen. But you can't hang your king. It's just not allowed. I wish it was allowed. You would just win, but it's for whatever reason, it's not allowed. So if this is not able to move, is it actually protecting this pawn? No. No. So take it. Oh. Nothing else is protecting the pawn. So you I, didn't, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that was a thing. So if somebody was playing on the other side, they wouldn't be able to move that pawn. Correct. Like you can't move that pawn in the, in the game. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. Yes, so uh, ah. did, you can play knight takes f5 here, so try, yeah, exactly. And I have not, you know, there's nothing that, there you go. Now, again, if this was a queen or a piece that you can capture, then they would mm -hmm. take back and you would take that piece. That would be worth, yeah. you know, a queen or, or, or whatever it might be. So here's a bonus example. I know you have this pin. But keeping in mind that you can also create a pin. So how can you pin this to this? You can make a pin right now with one of your pieces. You wouldn't be winning material, but you could... Nice. Easy. Now, are you threatening anything? Not really. I mean, is this knight under attack? No. But you know what mm -hmm. you do when you're, like, when, you're, when you're pinning, for example. Just... It's like, hey, wouldn't it be great... If this pawn was also attacking this knight. Yeah. Because then the knight wouldn't move, because I would take the queen. Mm -hmm. And I would trade my pawn for the oh. knight. Who can move here for you right now? My, uh, my knight can. Yes. And so at a, at a small level, you go, well, I don't know. I mean, he takes me, I take back, I don't know. But you're like, wait a second. Look what I just did. Yeah, and then he's, he's pinned, and then you could take knight. Yes, and you're going to win the knight. And the, the more you chip away at your opponent's <laughs> material, the better. You're going to have material yeah. advantage, and then slowly. So that's kind of like the, the first stage of, of peace interactions. These are the things you look for. What's pinned? How can I put it under pressure, for example? So mm -hmm. in the position that we got uh, when you played knight takes f5, let's say I move my king. What did I just do? I unpinned. So am I threatening to take your knight? Um, yes. Yes, so what do you have to do? Mm, I gotta move my knight? Wait. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, not, not a trick question. Exactly, easy. Um, let me see, how else can I set you up for greatness here? Yeah. Uh, let's go... Just bring the queen out. This is something called connecting the rooks. So your queen is kind of in the mm -hmm. way of your rooks right now. It's not a terrible thing, but... Okay. I want you to look around. How can you use one of your pawns to threaten one of your opponent's pieces? So threaten to capture it. Basically, you have to move the pawn and it creates a threat on one of your opponent's pieces. Oh, wait. If I put my pawn to... If I move my pawn... here, and it takes the pawn, doesn't that put me checkmate? 
You're saying you would be pro you would be the king wouldn't have any moves. Yeah, the king wouldn't have any moves if he takes the pawn, so it's pinned, right? So just because the king doesn't have a move, it doesn't mean it you also need to be actually threatening the king. Oh, okay. So one of your pieces has to actually be attacking the king. Even if the king can't move, it doesn't mean the game is over. It just means that the king... Oh, okay. It cannot, but... It has to be threatened as well. Yes. So then, to... Okay, then he could just... Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yes, gotcha. yes. But no, but I mean, like, what you're saying is correct. Like, you're looking this way. Just, you now need another piece also to, to be threatening it, and then, then you actually do have checkmate. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I was thinking that you were going to play d5. You have one more way. So one of your other pawns can move and can also oh, create a threat. Move. That could... um, oh. So am I, what, am I creating a threat to take another piece, right? Yep. Of higher value? Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. Why can you play that move? Because it's protected. That's the most important thing. Yeah. If this yeah. was just a pawn that could get taken, that would not be good. Um, mm -hmm. Just in general, I want you to think about it like that. Uh, it's you can't uh, the same piece can't attack from both sides. So like a pawn doesn't attack a pawn because it could get taken. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like this is not an attack on the knight because you could just get taken. As simple as that might sound to you, like it's just I want you to just understand it uh, because it, it it'll help for for the future. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go here here. Sure. Uh, I want you to play a few moves on your own. I want you to explain your thought process to me. Just want to see how you're thinking about it, because this is your okay. first go at this. So, mm -hmm. so ultimately, you will have to do this with no mm. microphone and <laughs> against the person and so it's good to kind of yeah okay we'll so the first thing that like sort of caught my eye is moving my um uh progressing my my g3 knight to okay. h5 okay and then that puts threat on the knight at their knight wait but and remember so in a position Oh wait, I could get taken there. Okay. Oh wait, no, I okay. I well oh no, dude. I accidentally left the board. Shit! Oh, no, back. you're back, you're back, you're okay, back. We're back. Okay, cool. My man got so upset, uh, he was yeah, I'm no, gone. Right there. Oh no, okay, wait. Jeez. Okay. But this is good. Like, I want yeah. you to, I want you to make these mistakes now. Before you make a move, can I get taken? Okay. Yes, no. Can I take back? Yes, no. If no, then. Okay, then so 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 we can't make forward progress with this knight. Yeah, we can't make. I can move my bishop up to f four with no threat. See, I I like that. I, I like that you said like it's safe, but I'm it, it, like, are you threatening to take this? No, it's guarded. Yeah. Uh, is it a bad move? No. So just uh, is there a point in time where you're just like moving, like gaining space? Like is is like mm -hmm. is like board territory control like like a thing? Is that like important? Absolutely. So space in chess is what squares you control on the enemy side of the board. Oh. Uh -huh. You have a lot more space here. Because this controls these two, this, this, the bishop sees all these squares, this, this. So if at mm -hmm. any point you're like, yo, one of my pieces is really not doing anything. Uh, activate it. So, for example, yeah. let's say like, what? Which one of your pieces are sleeping? Which one of my pieces are sleeping? Yeah, like they're oh, just my, standing. My, uh huh. My uh my what is it? the rook uh, rook the rook yeah yeah. So activate it. Literally, sometimes one square makes all the difference because now your your rook actually has vision on something. But generally, okay. rooks get into the game a little later, 10, 15 moves in, once the pawns open up a little bit. So, yeah, rook c1. And then the way you can think about this is like, okay, I still have my pieces here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you move this rook over one square, who's on the other end? Uh, pawn. And who's behind it? Queen. Yeah, so... Pawn, then mm -hmm. queen, that's a pin. 
Does it mean that you're going to, you're going to, I mean, it just means that this pawn can't move now. Yeah. Yeah. It can't move. So this could be an option because oh, they might. Okay. Have. Okay. Pins, dude. Pins. So there you go. Like, ah, you could start, okay. you know, and by the way, like, remember you're thinking, okay, this knight will take me here, but if I pin it, then it can't. Then I yeah. start enabling certain movements. What what makes the game easy when you first start out? Holy moly! You feel a, you feel like the brain pulsing, or <laughs> no, yeah, there's just I, I already see how like there, there's so many different combinations of things that you could probably put, like, you know pull off random. Yes. like you know, oh, yeah, yes, it, it, it's depthy. Uh, <laughs> I think this the 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 sexy stat everybody likes to say about chess is I think there's more possible positions in chess than atoms in the universe, mm -hmm. which is kind of astounding when you think about it. So, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of iterations of, of what can happen. Um, let's, do, uh, let's do this. I want to pause because I don't want to just, I don't want to look at it from white's perspective. Half the games you play are going to be with black. So let me go to the very beginning here, delete everything. And then you can flip the board at the top right, like near the black rook. There's, if you hover, there's a flip arrow. Okay. And you should be able to... Got it. Now you're looking at it from Black's perspective. So yep. I'm going to show you something that you, you must know. So there's a way you could lose in four moves in chess. And I want you to never... Blitz? No, no, no. Well, Blitz, oh, blitz chess is just, is just speed chess. It's called the Scholar's Mate. Okay. It's got, or, um, and, and the way I want you to think about this is whenever you're playing a chess game, what square near your king right now is only guarded by your king. The square near my king is only guarded by my king? Yes, like you have some pawns. I mean, I guess you can, you can, yeah. okay, you can say like the, these guys, but pawns specifically. You got three pawns uh, near your king. Yeah, yeah. Um, would it be like the, um, the D, I don't know, the D7 pawn and the F7 pawn? Just F7. Oh, just F7. Yeah, because this actually, this has some support. You don't need to worry about this too much. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 because then the, oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I get what you mean. Okay, yeah. Yes. This, this one, if it, if it, yeah, it, it has no support. Except yeah, your king. Yeah, yeah, I get it, yeah. And yeah, so, yeah, true, true, true. for white, the most popular first move is the king spawn. So people will go like this. So this opens two pieces which can immediately go look at this. Because mm -hmm. they, like, you know, they, 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 they can <laughs> develop and then they can go swarm. So if, mm -hmm. if you see this, you're probably like, well, I mean, it looks good. I'll just do the same thing right back. And that's fine. That's good. But then someone can hit you with, you know, this move. And then as you progress, like, we'll select an opening for you. Like, what do you want to play against this? Um, you know, I want to play, uh, I want to attack immediately. This is called the Scandinavian defense. And mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe I'll teach you this as well. I'll just, for now, we'll start with this. If you see this, it looks scary. Yeah. Well, what, what does the queen see? What does the queen see? Mm -hmm. The queen sees the pawn, so she's pinning my king. Yes. You, you start looking at that. What else does the queen see, though? She also sees the pawn. Yes. This pawn. Mm -hmm. This pawn has no guards. Yeah. yeah. This pawn has no guards. So what, what sometimes happens here is people go, oh, I'm not going to deal with that. And they go here. And oh. then this is a check. Seconds, yeah. And what else is the queen attacking? Oops. Uh Oh, yeah, that's unprotected as well. That has no support. So, so I told you. Pieces for frizzle. Yes. And what's going to happen is, you know, you're going to lose. Uh, you're going to lose the rook. So this is like one of the most common beginner traps. And. Mm -hmm. They block. I know the counter. Yeah, I mean the counter is you just have to defend this first. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, move your knight. Oh, you, oh, okay. You don't have I was to looking at knight. Yeah. But is it, so is it better to is it better to move? Is it so so? What I initially thought was okay. I'm just gonna move my queen to uh, e7. 
But is, right. that, is it right. bad to do that instead of like, is it better to just mobilize your, your, your knight first and then take care of that with that? Yes, it's better to get the knights and the bishops fighting before the most powerful pieces come in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense because they're the most, you know, most valuable. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it, what's interesting is like most valuable in warfare, but not yeah, like yeah. they're also expendable. You could trade one and not feel it. If you lose your queen yeah, early, yeah. it sucks. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, how, you know, the most like, I don't know. Yeah. Like how, the way you phrased it was nice. Okay. Now's the mm -hmm. defining moment of your initial chess career. You're about to lose. If you don't do the right thing. How do you defend checkmate? Oh god. Okay, wait. Um... Let me give you your options. So, mm -hmm. so, so am I trying to, um, am I just trying to just, I just need to cut off one of their paths, right? Oh, I like that. I like that. Damn, dude. Honestly, like I, you know, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to give positive reinforcement when I do these lessons, but dude, that's excellent. You're not just thinking, how do I like desperately defend this? You say, how do I intercept one of their attacks? I like mm -hmm. that. So which one are you thinking? I'm thinking, I'm thinking the G7 pawn to, to um, yeah, to G6. Perfect, because now... Move, yeah, mm -hmm. so then if I move the D1 to intercept the, the um, sorry, what is it, the bishop? Yeah. Then there's nothing that could take it, and then he gets a free piece. Perfect. So it's the fact that this just has two. I mean, your queen defends, but you're not going to take, because it's... Yeah. Yep. Yep. Perfect. So that's called, I mean, that's like, that's the chess thought process. You, you discard this move and you want to look at this. Very good. And you attack the queen. But what if I go here? I still have the threat. So what do you do? Um, I still have the threat. That is true. I have nothing to protect. Heck, if I move a knight. You sure? Uh, am I sure? Oh, wait, no, I have queen to protect. And then that's, that's big trade. Yes. Knight f6, perfect. So she can't do that. And or, no, yeah. no, yeah, exactly. You're right. I, just, I can't do this. I can't do mm -hmm. this. Exactly. Um, okay. Now, what some, like, what some beginners will do here is they know that, you know, this knight is tied to not moving because otherwise there's this. Mm -hmm. So you might see this move. You see my point. I want, it's not that I want you to take like a lot of newer players are like, Oh, if take, it's not that mm -hmm. it's that I want to do this. Yeah. You want to progress. Right. So you can take night. Right. So like, what is your initial reaction when you see this move? Like what? Okay. I like that. See, you you immediately just, just think about, so that's very good. H6, very, very good move. I'm glad you just like caught that instantly. You have some other options also. And so I just want to kind of mm -hmm. introduce this. You don't always have to play defensive chess. I like that you, you found H6 like within a second, but you have yeah. a free turn right now. Since you have a free turn, can you create a threat in this position yourself? A strong threat. Make a move that threatens to take something worth a lot. Um, yeah, I do. What is it? Oh my good, oh my. Yes. Beautiful. Hitting the queen. So now I'm reacting to you. I can't just continue to bully you with G5 and, right, like, so mm -hmm. I, I want you to be thinking, like, both ways, because ultimately, yeah. you don't have to always react. You can also create threats. Okay, very good. What else does your mm -hmm. knight attack? My knight attacks pawn... My knight attack. That's it. Yeah, pawn and queen. But oh, if you no. yeah. if you land here, it's a bonus. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yes. But yeah, because then he can't take anything there. If he, I'm, I'm not threatened there, right? Nope. That is absolutely... Which is why I'm going to go here, and I'm going to defend. Okay, whoops. 
I know, I know. You just you were just showing that if you if you go there. So, <laughs> yeah. Queen here. Okay. So I'm defending. Uh, what is what is Black's best move now? Hmm. Black's best move. Well, I think I want to I want to get my knight out of there. But I don't know if that's just me reacting. Are you in danger? Yeah. Are you protected? Oh wait, I am protected. You are protected. What's something oh, you know, queen yeah. for knight would be? <laughs> no, but that's like that's that's yeah. good. I mean, you you know you so just pick that up. Oh, my knight's actually guarded. All right, so can you take anything here? That's the first thing you should think about. Like, can I? Is there anything free? Can I just look around, scan the board? Anything free? Mm, no, no, there's nothing free. One thing. There's one thing that's free? Yeah. Oh, the pawn. Uh -huh. It used to not be free. Yeah, it used to not be free. Oh, yeah, so sometimes the brain okay. will be like, I can't take it. It's not, but then you forget, like, why, why is this free you know, now? Because like, the queen moved. Oh, there's no threat from the queen, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Oh. Now I'll go here. Now it doesn't matter that you're guarded. It's worth less, yeah. so you have to move. Where shall you go? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, well, or... No, that move is fine. I mean, yeah. it's as long as it's fair. Like, I first I want you just thinking if it's fair. I want you yeah, just... That's so, why so I was here, right? Yeah. What are you thinking? Okay, I yeah, know. That was... No, never mind. I, I was just looking across the board. But yeah, yeah, I like that. Er, early in the game, it's difficult to, like, jump in because everything is so well built. It's like yeah. later in the game, it's, it's easier to kind of make these maneuvers. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take. Like, we'll just play a freestyle game. Mm -hmm. You could... You have a choice of how to take. Yeah, I do. Either... Oh. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I was looking at my other pawn, but then the queen is looking at that, and I was like, you don't want to do that. It, pinning so, the, pinning well, the queen. It, I mean, it's like, do you want a queen trade? And the truth is, if it's, if it's a fair trade, it's okay. It's, yeah. It's, and just to show you one, uh, one rule, in case you, you didn't know, so... If you do this, you can't castle anymore if your king moves. Mm. Is that okay. like is that like terrible? Not really, you know? I mean it's not like you lose, you just can't castle anymore. You could still make a nice mm -hmm. little shelter for your king. Like, for example. You know, and then like your king's very safe here. Yeah. Even if it doesn't feel safe. Like who is gonna attack your king? <laughs> right? Like they're all they're all yeah. all the way over there. Um so th th this is not the end of the world. I don't want you thinking that, okay, I lost my right to castle. It's, but I, I did want to tell you that this, this is a rule. Um, okay. And now we're going to play like a few uh, more normal looking positions. But I did want to teach you like about this F7 thing, about scholars mates. Now, you, if you see it coming, you slow down for mm -hmm. a second and you're like, okay, I don't want to get, get caught with this. But otherwise, it's two knights in the middle. Uh, take the pawn if it arrives. That's the whole point of putting the pawn here is you don't want them to, to do that. Like that's yeah. your occupying center. And then, like you said, get, a, get space. Controlling squares, getting your pieces active, controlling and visualizing on their side of the board and get your king to safety. Let's play a more normal game. So okay. I'll go here. This is much more standard. I'm attacking this. Your most natural knight move here to protect this is what? It's the standard move. Queen's knight. Knight c6. Knight c6? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing that you did against the queen move. You don't even have to think. It's... You do it. And now, like... For you, what do you, what do you think you would memorize better? If we said the coordinates out loud? If you... It, is it like you visualize it better? What would help you... Um, like, understand the board more? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, probably the coordinates, but it's probably just going to take some time for me to get, like, comfortable with them, you know? 
sure. I mean, I think you're picking. I mean, you're picking it up. By the way, you have them enabled, right? By default. Yeah, yeah, they're on. Okay, okay. I, I just, I, I have. I would be really bad if you were like doing it all from memory. So, okay, perfect. So, you know, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and now white can play a lot of different things. White can move this bishop, and now there's even names of openings. So, if white moves the bishop to c4. This is known as the Italian game. You see the uh, on the top right, it says like the opening name, C50 oh, Italian. Yeah, yeah. C50 yeah. Italian game. So bishop to B5, hitting your knight, Rui Lopez or Spanish. Um, and then this is how people build their chess you know, expertise, intellect, whatever, mm -hmm. right? So uh, if the bishop goes out to C4, the best thing for you to do, standard, is just bishop, bishop. Nothing, nothing too complex. Let's say it's the I awesome. Yoko piano game. Yeah, Joko, uh, Joko piano, which uh, Joko, I butchered that. No, it's 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 okay. I'm not a I'm not a chess uh, elitist. You can, yeah, well, actually, Hikaru calls it the Gucci piano. So the Gucci piano. <laughs> uh, okay, finish your development. Get castled. Okay. Um... Perfect. Hmm. Now let me play. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna break some rules. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play such such good development. Nice, 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 nice. Um, let's say here. What have you not developed yet? My other bishop. Nice. How would you do that? Mm. You might say, well, I want to move my pawn up one square. Are you thinking two squares? Can you go two squares? Well, I can go two squares. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could go two squares and then... Yeah, yeah, I like this two square move, actually. Yes, if possible, because they only see it two times. Mm -hmm. And you see it. I mean, if they had a knight here, you wouldn't be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Because it would be three versus two, and you don't have you yeah. don't have sufficient defense. So let me take with the pawn. Oh, I thought you were gonna take back. Oh. If wait, you go here, back. I can snap you. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Wait, wait, take back with oh the oh my god, my knight. Okay. So see, your intuition was right, actually. It was to go two. You just had to... Now we need to fill in the gaps. So knight take F6... care of the one thing before that, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So knight takes d5. I, yeah, I thought that's why you said d5, because the knight is, is guarding... Um... <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. bishops and knights are the same. I don't know if, like, we, we kind of glossed over this, but bishop and knight is considered three points each. Mm -hmm. uh, some people argue bishop is, like, three and a quarter. Um... Rooks are five and queens are nine. Easy way to think about it. Um, when you first start out, like, I want you to just think simple terms. Bishop for knight is good. It's the same, so it's a fine trade. But as you start playing more, you're going to realize not all trades are the same. Some trades really change positions, even mm -hmm. if it's three for three. So this trade, bishop takes and you take with a queen, is a little bit better for you. Why? Why I say that? Why is that? How would you? How do you think about it? Um, why is that better for me? Yeah, and by the way, if you if you uh, said, "Dude, I have yeah. no clue," I am more than okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's more than okay. Yeah, I don't. Th I mean, I yeah, I don't really have a clue. So it's it's basically peace activity. Mm -hmm. You now have more pieces out than your opponent. Your opponent just traded an already developed piece for your piece. Now they only have one. Th everything else they have is on the back rank. Oh, connection was lost. But yeah, yeah, I understand that. So your queen is a little bit more active. However, your queen can be a target. So you still seeing my moves? Like knight out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. Or back. Now you got to move your queen. Mm. And 
don't don't go taking stuff beautiful okay very nice i'm gonna i'm gonna throw you your first uh your first hurdle okay this looks yeah. like you've made a mistake it looks like i'm forking your queen and your bishop mm -hmm. so where are you gonna move your queen it's got to keep the bishop guarded Her? Oh my god, that was amazing. I actually thought you would go back to where you were, which is also fine, but it's a little bit easier. But you found this? Damn, okay. I'm gonna take. And you'll notice when you play, like, practice games, games will go like mm -hmm. this. People are super trade happy. Like, if they can take it, they will. They will, yeah. It is a good way to think about it. Uh, I go here. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm like actually blown away that this is your first chess lesson. So that's the sky's the limit, I feel like. I like that. I think it's a, t it's a tough position to play because it's, it's like a lot of. Oh lord, there's a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that was that sounded like an airplane. You, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> uh... man's on a Harley. Yeah, oh my goodness. Um, let's go queen here. Now I want to see how you think when there's like nothing to do. When there's nothing to do, I want to activate my bishop. Oh my god, perfect. What the hell? Yeah, perfect. What have you not improved yet? Space in your opponent's position. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So go ahead, activate it. Mm-hmm. Bishop f5 is a fantastic move. I'm going to show you one little pattern here. Just mm -hmm. your, the move you played was great. I'm going to show you one small thing. Uh, yeah. You can make a queen move which pins a pawn to the enemy king. Oh. Oh my god, yeah, I don't think of, like, for some reason, I, I really need to, like, start thinking of the queen as something, like, she, you know, she can move in, you know, every direction. Yes, and that I can think, be hard I'm at thinking first. very diagonal with, like, my queen. Like, I'm yes. treating her like a bishop. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So you're thinking on yeah, the diagonals. I need to but... put that in my note. Yeah, I gotta start thinking, yeah. So you're thinking, yeah, yeah, perfect. Now, again, I don't want you, like, I'm not saying you must do this. I, again, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to expand the thought process a little bit. So, yeah. Do you understand why this is such a strong move? Uh, like, this is no yeah, longer it, guarding it. Yeah. So it, it doesn't, it, it like immobilizes that sort of like that side of the board, right? It, it, specifically that pawn, and it turns this pawn into a target for who? Who sees that pawn? Who sees that pawn? For you, oh, my bishop. Uh huh. Yeah. So you like, of course, a move ago, you like, you saw okay. this in the back of your mind, but you're like, I'm not gonna play that. Why would I? Yeah, I, I definitely saw it. <laughs> well, this, this this pins this, and now now you're gonna, you know, whoop, now you're gonna take. And yeah, yeah. Just click. Oh, there we go. I clicked off the board by accident. Um. One more thing. So another way to think about how pieces interact and like just mm -hmm. this pawn is guarding this pawn and this knight. Mm -hmm. And this move creates vision. Not, you're not threatening to take it, but it creates mm -hmm. vision on the knight. And you go, well, if I take that and they take me, I could take that for free. Oh, that's true. Because the pawn, let's say, you know, like this. That's free. Now, yeah. what have you won in this trade? So A knight? Not, no, not a knight, because you gave away the bishop. Oh, what have I, I, what have I won? Yeah, so you got a knight, and, and like, what else? Let's go. I got a knight. You took a pawn? And, oh, and a pawn. Yeah, so you got a knight and a pawn, yeah. and they got a bishop. Uh -huh. So you came out a pawn ahead, but yeah. this position is like almost winning for black. Why? Mm -hmm. Why is it because, so good? Isn't it, isn't it because the... Um, okay, so the first thing is that nothing right now could take the queen. 
And then the queen also has like uh has control of like h1 and g2. Yes. The king is very weak for white. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. The, the king is very weak. The king is very weak. Yes, that's that's a good way to put it. If the king doesn't have like spots to move and he's like he's he's weak, he gets weaker. Exactly. Right? And and I mean yeah. the queen by herself is not gonna do like is not gonna do all the work, but this is a really, mm -hmm. really good start. Yeah. Uh, and plus you're threatening to win just straight up a second pawn. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Right, so uh, let's go here. Because that's my only way of protecting. Now, I want you to figure out how are you going to get your queen some help? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. Good. What, I, what, instantly, what instantly came to my mind is I want to I start mobilizing my, uh, my, uh, my what, rook. Yeah. The rook. Perfect. So I want to like start moving my, uh, this, this pawn that's blocking it just up and maybe even like start to put it in a position where it's threatened by the bishop. Oh my god, did you just play f5? Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, I'm telling you, uh, the, What's the, up? You, you might straight up be the most advanced first lesson I've given in my life. <laughs> you saw this, this, this? What the hell? Okay. Dude, my, I, I'm, um... Wait, this, this, what? Wait, you may be giving me too much credit. What are you talking about? No, 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 I'm, I'm, uh... You, you don't understand, like, when people think activating the rook, they think moving the rook. You just saw this oh. and the rook comes up? Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, okay, I like how, like, you're just very relaxed about this. I'm, like, very excited. This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> uh, before I was streaming, I've, you know, I, like, like, I, I ran, like, a scholastic chess program. I've taught probably yeah. thousands of people. This is, uh, very nice. I was ready to prepare this move to show you that you could activate your rook without moving a rook. But mm -hmm. you did it yourself. Shit, cool. man. Progress. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna activate my rook. So now my rook is seeing down here. Am mm -hmm. I threatening to take? No. Mhm. Mm but you yeah, could continue exactly. with your plan. Mhm. Mm hmm. You also have one other so, very good so, move here. I... Um... Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me slow down, right? Let me slow down real quick. So, I, I have a question. Sure. Is there ever an advantage in chess of like... So like, for, okay, I'm just gonna play it out and we can rerun the table, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, so what I could do is I keep my rook, I keep my rook here and I can move up here. And then that instantly, that makes it so that, you know, the, the bishop is under threat, but the rook could still just, you know, take my pawn. Um, or let me go back. Um, what else was I thinking? Or I could go here and then this is covered. This is covering the pawn. Uh-huh. For now, at least, and then you would go. I don't know. You would like. I don't know. I don't know what you'd. Do. What, what, what would you do there if I did that? That, that, that? Yeah. That unfortunately, that's half the game. It's like yeah, it's hard. Like, what, what is your teammate doing, right? Right. So teammate, it's mortal enemy. Yeah. yeah I'm. I'm gonna. No. No. Uh. So the first move that you suggested is it's it's just straight up the best move in the position. Okay. Um, Th this is also fine. Basically, as long as you're not making like a like a horrible yeah. blunder, it's so, yeah. So the way that I was thinking about it is like this is like I'm actually progressing the game forward. This is like I'm like kind of just delaying. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know if delaying there is like I don't know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? It's it, the thing is if if you play your whole chess life with moves like rook f7, you'll you'll never win. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, okay. That, that's, that's, enough, that's, that's the issue. Yeah. Um, okay. So the move f4 is really good, and, and actually just chess thought process in general goes like this. Okay, they mm -hmm. play here. You go, all right, why'd they do that? Are right, they see this? Are they, are they threatening to take it? No. Mm -hmm. So what is their threat? Do they have a threat? I don't see mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So now I got to look at my most aggressive and most forcing moves. Um, the most forcing move, meaning a move that absolutely will get a response, is, mm -hmm. a, is a check, because it attacks the king. 
Yeah. Doesn't mean you have to play it. I'm just saying you got to look at them first. Uh, all your checks lose a queen. Literally every single check loses a queen. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that we won't do. Um, however, attacking something else is also a threat. And that is a good move because, first of all, this bishop is almost trapped, is what this is called. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the only safe square it has. Second. Indeed. One thing lost in, in all this, I'm just going to pause like right here. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, if I just give you a random move just to pass the turn back to white, um, what is one way for white to put you in a lot of danger? Like hierarchy, king, queen, rook. How can white create a threat that makes sense on your queen, for example? Oh, if from from this from where my black is at right now, like we're not gonna move any more pieces. Yeah, well, I I just played this move to pass okay. the turn back to white. So yeah, it's white's move. You could make yeah, a move so, for white. So so wouldn't don't uh he he would have to mobilize his queen to like a five right and start like moving across. No no no, I meant I meant like um putting oh. your queen in danger. Their queen oh, my is queen in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not okay, doing damage with their danger. queen. Yeah, doing da uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, uh, can't he just move his, uh, move his queen back to d1? So that that wouldn't quite be danger, but it would be a trade. But yes, you yeah. saw the. I mean, I was gonna also point that out. So there, there's a way okay. with a lesser piece than the queen. I can. It's a way with a lesser piece. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me find it real quick. <laughs> Do you. No, nah, never mind. Just give it to me. I, I, can't, I can't think about it. Oh, it's all it's good. It's not coming to mind. Rook here. <laughs> oh, no, that's what I was thinking, but I was like. But then. Yeah, then I just get out of there, right? Yeah. But I guess that's the danger, right? It's, it's just, just danger. It's not like a, a take, right? Yeah, it's not that you're going to lose your okay. queen. It's just yeah. all chess players Pressure. have this. Yes, exactly. They have this in the back of their mind. Like, Plus, the bad thing about this move is that if you like run away, now this is a concept called doubling rooks. So mm -hmm. now I can stack, and that actually is a problem. Yeah, that is a big problem. That is a big problem. Now, everybody in my chat has been yelling about this move. <laughs> They've been yelling about this move. And you see, it's a pin. Uh -huh. So you can't take it. This is a pretty serious threat. Yeah, it is. But then we can just use your move and go here and protect. And it's yeah. fine. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, but it, 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 it's a threat. Yeah, that's what, I was, that's what I initially thought. Right As soon as you move that piece, I was like, I'm just going to mobilize my rook. Exactly. It's not... I mean, you don't need to, end, but the, the benefit of your move, it doesn't just attack the bishop, it also stops rook to g3, because your pawn mm -hmm. would control that square. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. So you oh, basically okay. shoot. That's huge. That was a, that, that, you should do that. Yes. Every time if, you're, <laughs> yes. if you're put in this position. Yes. That is big value. Yeah. So, yeah. The thought process 100%. there was basically they're not threatening anything. How do I make progress? What are my most mm -hmm. kind of forcing aggressive moves? I can attack the bishop or I can bring my rook, which I haven't included in the game yet. And that is how I make progress here. I love this move. Mm -hmm. But then I go here. So what is it? The thought process again. What is this move doing? Mm, putting pressure on my rook and potentially my uh, my king. Well, the most immediate danger is I just want to take your rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't take my rook. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Not a trick question. <laughs> you just you just move my rook. Correct. Where? Okay. Rook f seven, defending your king. What happens if you go up two? Just want to introduce this. If you go up two, it's a little I bit better. Up two. Hmm? Oh. Well, what? I mean, I don't see anything that happens. I mean, I get more like I, I, I get to mobilize my rook more. But other than that. Well, if you play yeah. rook up two and then on the and next, my move, other rook could defend, right? Or the a rook is defending. The, the king as well, right? Well, he, he, here, here's kind of the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Is like the, 
the what, what this is called. I mean, I can I can tell you what it's called. No, if it'll be helpful to kind mm-hmm. of visualize, but it's called a rook lift, mm-hmm. which is when you go up and over with the rook. Up and over. So where are we going over? Oh, okay. Why? Gotcha. It's a question. Why? why? I could say I could tell you the move, but why? Uh, because we're pinning the uh, we're pinning the king. We're pinning the king, right. and well, more importantly, we see this. Yeah. So who else sees that? Who else sees that? My uh, my queen. So what happens when you take it? We win the game. That's there you go. So in the middle of all this, yes. you just figured uh, out that you can team up with one of your pieces, and that like this is how you win a chess game. You. Yeah. You know, identify where with the weaknesses. You open up, bring your rook with the queen. Boom, there you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you win. So, when and when cannot can can the king take pieces? As lo- well, the king can take something if it's not going to be in danger. So, okay, if okay, it, yeah. See, it literally can't take the rook because the queen is still protecting. It gets checked, right? Yeah, and the king Got has it. no other moves. Um. Look, yeah. if this, 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 this is free. That doesn't That's free, work. Yeah. Okay. And that Got it. that would not work. Um, mm-hmm. And I mean, the way the way you improve and the way you start picking up on this uh, is you 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 literally like play ten or fifteen minute games. I would recommend fifteen minute with ten second bonus, which is which is rapid chess. Uh, bonuses. Even, yeah. So every time you make a move, you gain <laughs> you gain ten seconds on the clock. Uh, gotcha. I mean, it, it. The truth is, like getting better at the game. It, it. You might have a knack for it. It might come a little bit more naturally to you, which it seems like it does. But once you get out there, it, you really feel like, damn it, I forgot everything that I learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Because once you once you're actually in there, and you know the clock is running, and you're yeah. I understand, yeah. 